Six Steps to Correctly Apologize in Your Marriage Marriage encompasses comprehension, adaptation, communication, and compromise. It often involves overcoming challenges before two individuals can nurture a loving and fulfilling bond. Moreover, making mistakes is a common aspect of human nature, and married couples are no exception. What truly counts is acknowledging these mistakes and offering sincere apologies to our partners without letting pride interfere. To aid in this process, here are six steps to effectively apologize within your marriage. 1. Ask for permission to apologize. You shouldn't automatically assume your partner is immediately prepared to accept your apology. They might prefer some time to process. Sometimes, the opportunity to apologize arises promptly, while other times, it's best to wait until the offended party has had a chance to calm down. Whenever they feel ready, communicate the specifics of your apology to them. 2. Let them know that you realize you hurt them. Communicate your deep regret for your actions, acknowledging their wrongness and emphasizing the importance of their feelings to you. Express your sincere desire to reverse time and amend what was said or done. Additionally, avoid phrasing your apology with statements like, if I hurt you, I'm sorry. 3. Tell them how you plan to fix the situation. While rectifying a mistake isn't always feasible, the intention to do so holds significant value. When feasible, exert every effort to correct it. However, if rectification isn't viable, empower your partner to decide the desired outcome. 4. Let them know that you won't repeat the mistake again. Merely apologizing for your error isn't sufficient. It's crucial to assure your partner that you're committed to avoiding the same mistake in the future. Otherwise, what you're presenting isn't an apology but rather an excuse. 5. Ask them for forgiveness. After discussing matters, ask your partner for forgiveness. However, it's essential not to presume that simply requesting forgiveness guarantees immediate acceptance from them. 6. Consider following up with a handwritten note. A handwritten note serves as a lasting symbol of your regret and commitment to avoid repeating the mistake. It also reinforces your pledge, as it provides tangible evidence of your promise to them. Signs you found your friend soulmate. From swapping hair ties to commiserating over exes and exchanging gossip, you've weathered every storm together. And even as they reside in a distant corner of the world, it doesn't diminish your connection in the slightest. Even your weekly chats can't weaken the bond you share. Furthermore, you've come to recognize that you found your friend soulmate long before you formally met them. But what convinced you of this? Here are some indicators that you've discovered your friend soulmate. 1. They are your go-to. Despite having numerous people around you, you feel compelled to communicate with them and confide in them. You may overlook messages from others, but even at 3 a.m., you eagerly listen to their voice messages. 2. You don't meet regularly. You've enjoyed occasional fun trips and overnight stays together once a year, but you both recognize that your individual busy schedules sometimes keep you apart. Despite not meeting regularly, you understand that it doesn't weaken the bond you share. 3. No jealousy. You don't experience negativity when they spend time with other friends besides you. Nor do you feel envy when they prioritize their partner over our plans. However, if someone hurts your best friend, you won't hesitate to make them feel remorseful. 4. It is hard for people to accompany you. When you're in the company of others, they might wonder why they chose to join you both. You share inside jokes, memories, and even favorite songs, which may inadvertently make others feel excluded. However, your intention isn't to alienate them, you're simply enjoying yourselves together. 5. They are your happy pill. When not even a tub of chocolate ice cream can lift your spirits, they can. You both possess the ability to say the right words at the right time to comfort each other. You've witnessed each other's lowest moments and made the conscious choice to remain by each other's side. 6. People don't understand your texts. Others would be puzzled if they witnessed your texting dynamic. No one else can rival the unique level of quirkiness you share. Even with just emojis and stickers, you both manage to convey your thoughts effectively. 7. No hiding away. You never need to mask your emotions or suppress your anger around them. You openly communicate what's on your mind, and they receive it without becoming defensive. 
There are no hidden truths between you both, and you authentically reveal your true self to them. 7 Things Women Learn From Getting Ghosted By A Guy Ghosting has become a common occurrence in contemporary dating, with almost everyone experiencing it at least once. Recovering from being ghosted can be challenging, but it's not insurmountable. There are key lessons to keep in mind during this experience. Here are 7 insights women have gained from being ghosted by a man. 1. Ghosting is simply a part of the modern dating scenario. It's important to realize that ghosting is a widespread occurrence that affects nearly everyone. Experiencing it doesn't imply any fault on your part, and you shouldn't allow it to diminish your self-esteem. 2. If they leave, they never wanted you. If someone chooses to leave and ghost you, it's evident they lack interest in pursuing a relationship with you. They wouldn't provide the love, affection, and effort you deserve. With such an attitude, investing time in them isn't worthwhile. 3. It doesn't really matter why they left. Even if they attempt to elucidate their reasons for vanishing, it may not resonate with you. People interpret things differently, so understanding why they ghosted you might not alter your perspective. Consider this as a chance to progress in your life and encounter individuals who truly deserve your affection. 4. No point in chasing. When someone ghosts you, you might be tempted to seek another opportunity to persuade them otherwise. However, that shouldn't be your focus. If they fail to recognize your worth from the beginning, they likely never will. Moreover, why invest your time and energy in someone who doesn't appreciate you? 5. Not every connection is meant to be. You should begin to accept the reality that not every connection will evolve into a lasting relationship. Sometimes, certain situations are simply not meant to progress further, and it's essential to approach this with an open mind. While you may initially feel saddened by their departure, with time, you'll likely find a sense of relief. 6. This relationship was never going to work. It's a blessing in disguise that things ended sooner rather than later. You'll feel grateful that you didn't become more emotionally attached to someone who ultimately would have left you halfway through. 7. The right person will always stay. Once you encounter your soulmate, there's no chance of losing them. Everything will align perfectly, and the thought of them leaving will never even cross their mind. They'll remain steadfast by your side, enveloping you in unconditional love and warmth. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.